Hello learners, welcome to the YouTube channel of Cloudy MF. This is a new playlist in this YouTube channel and the name of the playlist is Complete SQL Course. So in this playlist, we are going to see videos which are related to SQL and we are going to cover basic important topics of SQL in a very short time. Okay, so if you want to learn SQL in a very short span of time, then you can go through this playlist which has amazing videos related to SQL which you can also see and perform on yourself. Okay, so let's begin. This is the first session of this complete SQL course wherein we are going to see an introduction about SQL and uh, what are basically the basic concepts and various tools that we are going to use. So let's begin. So SQL which stands for Structured Query Language. It is used for storing and managing data in a Relational Database Management System, which is RDBMS. So, Relational Database Management System is basically where uh, tables are stored and there is certain relation between the tables. That is the relation, Relational Database Management System. All the RDBMS like MySQL, Informix, Oracle, MS Excel, and SQL Server use SQL as their standard database language. So basically SQL is a type of language which is used to store and manage data in huge amount and SQL, Informix, Oracle are the some platforms that use SQL as their base language. Okay, So these are the SQL data types uh, which are frequently used. First is the numeric which has int and float. Int is used to store integer numbers and float is used to store decimal numbers. Then we have character string which has char and varchar. Char means uh, it has a fixed length and varchar we have a variable length of the characters. Okay, so for example, if you have uh, defined that the length of a character is 10, in the char data type, then you can store only the characters which have the length of 10. But if you store um, a, if you store a data using the varchar data type and you have considered the limit as 10, then the length could be anything from 1 to 10. Okay, so you can use variable length type that is the varchar data type. Then you have the Unicode character string which is ncar and ntext which is used for a uh, big, big amount of text data. Then you have the binary, then date and time, okay? And then the miscellaneous where you have XML and JSON data types that are also available in SQL. So basically we are going to uh, most frequently deal with only three to four uh, data types, which will be int, char or varchar and the date, okay? So these are the various uh, subtypes of SQL or we can say the elements, basic elements of SQL. First, which is the DDL, DML, DCL, TCL and DQL. So DDL is nothing but the data definition language. Data definition language we use to give a structure to the data. Okay, and how basically the data will look like. So in that we have four queries or four commands which are create, drop, alter and truncate. Then we have DML which is the data manipulation language. So once the tables are created, you can use the DML to make changes to the table. So it is insert, update and delete. Then you have the DCL which is the data control language. It is, uh, there are two commands over here which are grant and revoke. They are used to give certain permissions related to the data. Then you have TCL, which is the transaction control language. These are related to the topic called transactions and it has three commands over here, commit, rollback and save point. Then finally, you have the DQL, which is the data query language and it has a command which is select. So data querying is used for extracting the data from the table as how we want it. Okay. You can apply certain conditions on it as well. We are going to see all of these five language uh, in detail in this complete playlist. So thank you for watching this video. This was the introduction of SQL. 
and do follow the uh, further videos in which we are going to complete the uh, course of the SQL course in which we are going to see various topics of SQL in a short span of time. We are, we are going to perform a hands-on of this SQL course on MySQL Workbench. So from the next sessions, you can install the Workbench. Okay. This is the interface of MySQL Workbench and uh, you can visit the official website of MySQL and you can uh, perform the installation on your system. So thank you for watching this video. We'll be meeting in the next session. If you have any doubts or, uh, or any queries regarding to the installation, then you can put it down in the comments. So thank you. Uh, we'll meet next time.